get started. We start with a magic with a slip knot on the hook. Here it is. Pull tight, that way it won't get loose. We start off with three chains. One, two, and three. Then yarn around and go back to the first loop. And we make a double crochet on top of it. So the first three counts as the first double crochet. Yarn around, go to the first loop. Put your hook underneath two loops. Here it is. Yarn around, pull up. And make it loosely. Yarn around, pull through the first loop. Yarn around, now pull through two loops. Yarn around, pull through two. Now you've got two double crochets on top of each other. The next, yarn around. Twist your work a bit and then you see here this V-shaped stitch. You put your hook underneath two loops. Yarn around, pull up. Like this. Make loosely. This will be the chain which you will use. Yarn around, pull through one. Yarn around, pull through two. Yarn around, pull through two. Now you've got three double crochets on top of each other. Crochet this loosely. Don't crochet too tight. I will make some more here, pull through one, pull through two, and pull through two. So yarn around, go back to the first chain you made, put your hook underneath two loops, one, two, yarn around, pull through one, make it loosely, yarn around, pull through one, yarn around, pull through two, and pull through two. Go on up until you have the amount that you need. First you start with 10 double crochet plus 1. So you don't have to think about that plus 1 anymore. And then you go on with a multiple of 11. 11 double crochets. Foundation double crochets. We've got 7. Here is number 8. Pull through 2 and 2. This is number 8. This is number 9. This is the easiest way, it gives a maximum stretch on both sides of this double crochet. When you want to crochet with a chain only, then make sure that you go up a hook size and then double crochet the amount of stitches you need. So I've got 10, here's the last one, it's number 11. Now we'll start with the amount of stitches for the cable motif, so a multiple of 11. I've done 11 here. Now I add the 10 more for the other side of the front or back side, doesn't matter which side you're starting with, front or back. So two times front or back part is the same. If you are full breasted and, and you need more space in the front, then add one or two cable motifs extra on the front. Most of the times you can keep it by the width of your hips. So the width of your hips uh, divided by 2 is the amount of stitches you need. Now we start off with the repeating pattern. I always chain 1 and turn my work. In the first stitch I make directly my first half double crochet. This is number 1, number 2, number 3, sorry, 4 and 5. So I made 10 half double crochets and now I start off with the, with the cable motif. So we get started. So I made 10 half double crochets. Now we make one front post double crochet. So yarn around and go between the first and the second stitch from the front to the back around that half double crochet you made. Around and pull it through up to the front. Now you've got three loops on the hook, yarn around, pull through two, yarn around and pull through two. Now you made a front post double crochet. Now two half double crochets in the next stitch, each one half double crochet. Here's the first and there's the second. And now we go make six front post double crochets. So again, yarn around, go between the stitches from the front to the back and back to the front around that stitch. Yarn around, put it up to the front, three loops on the hook, 
yarn round, pull through two, yarn round and pull through two. And again, so from the front to the back, back to the front again, yarn round, pull it around, yarn round, pull through two, yarn round and pull through two. That's the second front post double crochet. Again, from the front to the back and from the back to the front, pull up, yarn round, pull through two, yarn round and pull through two. Well, that to be repeated for six times in total. This is number four, this is number five and number six. Now, now we've got six front post double crochet and here one front post with two half double crochets in between. Now again, two half double crochets after the cable motif. This is the first and here is the second. And we end off with a front post double crochet. This part is to be repeated throughout the pattern for the amount of cable stitches you need. At the end you will add those 10 half double crochets. Here is the chain 3 you started with, with the foundation double crochet row. So stick your hook underneath two loops on the third chain and you make your half double crochet. Well, we started here with 10 half double crochet, one front post, two half doubles and then from here on up till the next front post double crochet is a repeat up to there. So six half double crochets in between them, separated by two half doubles and one front post. I already chained one, I turn my work and directly I make my half double crochet. This way you get a nice edging and no holes on the sides. You make in total 10 half double crochets. And now you can feel a little bump here. Well, that's in the previous row it was a front post double crochet, now you make a back post double crochet. So you do it the opposite way. Between those two st stitches you go from the back to the front, around that stitch, back to the back. You see is the double crochet is laying on top of your hook, so yarn around and pull through to the back. Three loops on the hook, yarn around, pull through two, yarn around and pull through two. Now you made your back post double crochet. Next two stitches will be a half double crochet, not here because that's from the real, uh, front post or back post double crochet, but there. That's number one and there's number two. Now we've got those six stitches here. In the previous row it were uh, front post double crochets and now we make a back post double crochet. You see this little bump here? That's why you know I'm at the front post or back post double crochet. So now we start with six back post double crochets, same as the first we did. So yarn around between the stitches to the front and back to the back. Yarn around, pull through, yarn around and pull through two, yarn around, pull through two. Again, yarn around between those two stitches from the back to the front and again from the front to the back. And now yarn around, pull up that loop. Yarn around, pull through two, yarn around, pull through two. And again, yarn around from the front to the back, between those two stitches, back to the back again. Here's your double. Yarn around and pull back to the back. Yarn around, pull through two, yarn around and pull through two. Well, that to be repeated for the amount of stitches you have in this way, it is six times. So and here one more and now we are at the two half double crochets so again one half double crochet of the next two stitches there's one and number two and we end off with a back post double crochet that was the front post in the previous row the same as we started before we started the cable so again here yarn around pull through two yarn around pull through two and the last 10 stitches will be half double crochets. That's one, two, and so on. Because we start with a chain one, that way that chain one will be your last place to put your 10th half double crochet in it. Chain one and turn. Now we're at the front again. 
Now you can see this coming uh, f forward and the other stitches will go backwards. This will be the lines for the cable. Now we start with flipping over the cables, three by three. So the first three and the last three. When you have knitted cables, it is the same principles. So you put your double your stitches frontwards or backwards. I will show you. Let's get started with the cable motif. Well, the ten half double crochet. I believe it right now that you can that you know how to do it. So we'll skip to the front post. Here's the first front post, there will always be one front post. Or when you are on the opposite side, it will be a back post. First two half double crochets are always the same. And now we're here at the front, uh, cable motif. We will skip the first three stitches and we go directly to the last three stitches. We yarn around twice, so we skip three stitches into the fourth, fifth and sixth. We will start a treble crochet, front post treble crochet. So again the same as a double crochet from the front to the back and from the back to the front. Again yarn around, pull up. Now you've got four loops on the hook, yarn around, pull through two, yarn around, pull through two and pull through two. That's the fourth stitch with a treble front post crochet. So next in the fifth stitch Again a front post treble crochet, again yarn round and pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. And the sixth stitch, yarn round twice, front post treble crochet, so underneath the stitch and pull up, yarn round, pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. Now you can see that the stitches go to the right and now we go crochet this, these three stitches here. But it goes overlapping over the first three crocheted stitches. So we go yarn round twice and we go to the first stitch. I'll show you. Yarn round twice, go up front of these stitches and go to the first skipped front post double crochet. So put it forwards with your finger or if it's helpful for you. So you see go frontwards and go to the first skipped stitch. From the right to the left, underneath the stitch, I'll f squeeze it like this a bit. It helps you easier to do the stitch. Yarn around, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. So now I've got the first front post treble done. Now you see it goes left side, and then to the second one. Yarn around twice. Go again forwards, and we go to the second stitch you skipped here. Yarn around twice and we go to the next. We go from the front to the back, from the back to the front, around that stitch actually. Here it is. Flip it over a bit, it helps you when you haven't uh, done cables before. And you make your front post treble crochet. Here's the second one. Don't crochet too tight. Here's the the third skipped stitch sometimes is a bit hidden underneath it, so you really need to push it forward with your finger when you crochet too tight. Again, front post treble crochet. Yarn around, pull through two, yarn around, pull through two, and pull through two. Now first flip over is done for the cable. You see it goes like an X shape. The first three stitches go to the right side that you crochet, and the next go to the left side. So now two half double crochet. Now the cable is stuck and will not go anywhere anymore. And you can put your finger underneath it. That way you see that the last three crochet stitches will go left side and the other way ones will go right side. Now I've done two half, do two half double crochets and now I make one front post double crochet. We only make trebles when you go to make the flip over. Then that's the only time you make front post treble crochet. The other others will always be a front post or a back post double crochet. So when we have done the front post double crochet you will repeat this again from here till here. So two half doubles skip three stitches 
three treble crochet front post and then go back to the first three make three front post trebles then two half double and a front post double and of course a ten half double crochets I will show you now what to look for when you're on the wrong side of your work where you need to make your back post double crochet sometimes it can be a bit tricky but it's easy to see when you when, when you should when uh, as I show you in a couple of seconds so I'll make those 10 half double crochets here a bit speedy 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 goes faster I can't go faster I'm <laughs> well almost there that's number nine number 10 and then the back post double crochet in the next so we're on the wrong side so we do only back posts here's the first you make one back post double crochet then two half double crochets so one half double crochet over the next two stitches one and number two could be a bit hidden but it's please make sure that you don't forget about that one now how to show how to see easily where you need to move where you need to put the first back post double crochet well you look really carefully you see one two three one two three stitches so as always the the way you need to crochet here's the first three and then the last three here so we stretch it a bit up you can see a little lining where the stitches will go and keep following that line that way you know which stitch you need to crochet first so here's my first one here is the first stitch you can always turn around your work and you see the first three stitches you go to the first and around that stitch you make a back post double crochet so only a double crochet no travels only to use only travels when you make the flip over for the cable motif here's the second one here you can see it perhaps here it is yarn around and then you make a back post double crochet that's the second one and now here's the third one so yarn around once and make a back post double crochet now i've got the first three done and now i have three chains left so three stitches you can see here are the three stitches which you will be using so I just put it between my fingers and hold it there and pull up the loop yarn around pull through two and pull through two this is the fourth here's the fifth so if you actually follow that v-shaped lining on top you will see which stitch you need to crochet first or second or fourth whatever here are the two next stitches so here I've got six back post double crochet is done now one half double and a second half double and a back post double crochet a single one here it is now you can see that your uh, flip over is, be, uh, is increased in length and that's what you want next row will be equal to the first front post row and the second back post row so that is to be repeated six front post two half double one front post and begin and end with ten half doubles so here it is one front post two half doubles one and two and now six front post double first second third here it is and the fourth and the fifth here it is and the sixth here it is voila two half doubles in a row one and number two and one front post that will be a repeating motif and end off with 10 half doubles you see it increases in length so now the back row so the wrong row wrong side of the uh, work you'll start again with 10 half doubles the first 
and here is my first back post right now it is a back post in the previous row it was a front post two half doubles six back post double crochets is the first and second third uh, follow the line again from the stitches on top you can see which stitch you need or just flip over your work you can see exactly where you are fifth and the sixth back post double crochet two half doubles first and second and one back post that will be your repeating motive for the amount of cables and you end off with 10 half doubles so now I've got two rows done the next row will be again the flip over row so first three stitches you skip and you go to the last three stitches first crochet them and then the first three stitches so this is the repeating motive throughout the complete pattern so keep on repeating this up until you need to have the length that you want so you make two pieces of them front and back and when you have done that we start off with adjusting the two pieces together and starting with the sleeves I've finished one panel I have finished it off with two front posts two back posts double crochets at the end and you start and end with the half double I'll show you I've done about 20 flip overs and I've ended off with the normal double crochet row if you rather have it a bit longer just keep on going up until you have the length you need so I made one chain I start off with the border on the edge of the shoulders first half double and now we'll start off with a front post double crochet so from the front to the back and from the back back to the front yarn around pull up the loop yarn around pull through two and pull through two got a front post next stitch again a front post around a stitch yarn around pull up yarn around pull through two yarn around pull through two and now two back posts double crochet here's the next stitch again from the back to the front and from the front to the back yarn around pull through and to the back yarn around pull through two and pull through two again from the front to the back and from the back to the front so around that half double crochet to the back pick up the yarn and pull it through like this yarn around pull through two and pull through two well this to be repeated so now two front post double crochets here's the second one and two back post double crochet up until the last stitch I'm there right now gladly I end off with two front posts that's good and a half double in the last stitch now I've done the first row done chain one and I turn my work around again start with a half double crochet in the first stitch here it is and now we take the stitches as they come so back post will be back post front post will be front post in the second part we start off with the sleeves and assembling the sweater together I hope to see you then and keep repeating this for about four rows i will see you in the next second tutorial